God morgon allihopa. Uh, so elephant in the room. It's Sunday, the day that I like edit and upload the video. And I think I filmed maybe two clips this week. I mean, you know, because you've already seen them. I can't remember, but I know that I haven't filmed much. And uh, yeah, yesterday I was like, I'm not even gonna upload a video this week. No point. And then this morning I changed my mind <laughs> and I think I'm gonna just try and take you along for most of the things that I do today so maybe it will be more of a like day day in the life kind of video instead of a like weekly vlog that I normally upload so yeah right now I'm on my morning walk with Lovis this is a nice routine that I've gotten into this like not this whole summer but now these past few weeks when Michael has been uh, on vacation but of course tomorrow he starts work again so I'm not gonna be able to take the morning walks but hopefully I can like keep this routine of taking this slightly longer walk it's like a 15 minute walk or so um, I want to do that every day for Lovis's sake and for mine so yeah that's how we're starting the day and hopefully the rest of the day will be fun and productive and and just a good end to the summer break like i said michael starts work tomorrow and the kids or the the big boys the big boys they start school on tuesday and miranda will see if she goes back to preschool on tuesday or if i wait until i start university again which is like two weeks away so yeah we'll see but come along with me and let's see where the day takes us good morning bunnies you want some food Hey bunnies! No, 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 no! No escaping! There we go, now they have some food in their house and I am going to do some cleaning in their... I don't know if you can call this a habitat, but in their outdoor enclosure, I guess? This morning I found the first signs of the rabbits trying to see if they can dig their way out. I don't know how well it, like, how well you can see it on camera, but they have dug a bit here and then they've hit the, the netting that we have, like, dug into the ground. So hopefully <laughs> they're not gonna, like, be able to get out, but it's a good thing to keep track on, of, I think. Uh, so yeah. I don't remember if I showed the finished result of the herb hexagon last week, but if I did, sorry, you're gonna have to see it again, because I'm so proud of it. I think it looks so good. So I have all of these herbs, but I do think they need some more sun. So I'm gonna take down these bushes and give to the rabbits. So that's a win-win. The only, like, loose is that I like the shrubbery, but, you know, these come first. I'm chickening out. I want to keep that one because I just like the bushiness, but I'm gonna take these down at least. And now it's about time for a serious nap, so let's make a bottle. the routine looks exactly the same every day he's so impatient <laughs> let's go take a nap Our routine this summer has pretty much been that when Sirius takes his morning nap, we all get to do whatever we want inside. Most of the time that is gaming for us and for the kids, but I am working on a knitting project. Let's see, where did I put it? It's over here. 
um, and I kind of get obsessed when I do that so I'm gonna keep working on my knitting and maybe do some gaming. That's not very interesting to film so I'll see you once Sirius is awake I guess. <laughs> Sirius is awake, we just had lunch and now we are gonna go We are gonna go on our last probably beach outing this summer. I'm actually pretty like Disappointed in us I guess for not going to the beach more. We've only gone twice this summer But at least we're ending the summer break with a, a beach visit and the kids have new like beach toys So they're super excited and they're fighting over them. So that's why the whining and the screaming in the background It's gonna be fun found a little frog in the water. Can you see it? That's so cute. Bye bye little frog. We had to leave pretty quickly from the beach because one of our kids needed to do number two. <laughs> so we're back home. It's a bit later now. It's been a few hours. Sirius took another nap. I took a little nap. I think Michael did too. And can you guess where I am? I'm in the tree house. I think I showed the tree house last week. And uh, bah? I'm basically just sitting here because I wanted to take some photos of the new pergola. I don't know if that's what it's called in English, but that's what it's called in Swedish. Michael built this earlier this week. It's finally done. Well, finally sounds like I was like impatient. It's amazing that it's done. I thought we were gonna do this next summer or something. But he just kind of started and a couple of days later he was done. Um, so I took some photos of it to remember and to put on Instagram. Also from up here you can see the rabbits. We've got these beautiful flowers in the window box. And I can spy on the kids. And I know this that Sirius was out of my mm -hmm. uh, sight so <laughs> Miranda had to run after him. Where is he now? Can you see him? I don't think I can see him. Maybe I should stop being a kid up here in the treehouse and go and take care of my kids. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell on camera. Serious, please! How huge this grasshopper or whatever it is is. Sometimes we find these upstairs, like on the windows, inside. Ugh. I think they're kind of disgusting and at the same time it's cool. And now we're gonna end our summer break by having dinner outside on the new table, on the new porch, under the new pergola. <laughs> We're still unsure if that's the name. Um, the roofless roof. The roofless roof. And I think it's a nice ending to the day and to the week and the summer break too. I wasn't going to film anything more, but then we picked up some garlic out of our like planter boxes. And these are peas. I'm not sure what they're called in, in Swedish, but uh, or in English. Gosh, I'm so tired. I'm not sure what they're called in English, but they are some kind of peas. And unfortunately, they are like dried over. The plants are completely dead. So we're not going to eat those, but we're going to save them and put them in the planters again next spring. And the same with the garlic. At least one of them will save and put in the ground. And hopefully we'll have more garlic next year. Anyway, I don't know why I even like tried to explain that because it's pretty obvious but anyway we're gonna end the video here so thank you for watching we'll see you next week <laughs>